Well, hello there everyone and welcome to another video over here on Anton's Hardware Channel. Now, today we're going to talk about this and this is a Creative Labs Audigy sound card. It was released back in 2010 and it was to have, supposed to have an unprecedented 24 bits and 96 kilohertz. But in fact it didn't. It was just a 16 bit sound card. So what's going on? Let's find out in this video. Now the Audigy is the follow-up of the Great Live series, a series that Creative had on offer previously. Now that card was a newly designed card, but the uh, Audigy is more like a Live 2.0. They have a similar architecture and the decision to use that same architecture had some big consequences because although the box said it has 24 bits, it was in fact and the inside a 16-bit card with a 24-bit digital to analog converter. And now for the controversy or even the lawsuit that Creative had for this of over this sound card. Uh, the marketing department had some big stamps put on the box that it was 24 bits, 96 kilohertz, but in fact it doesn't have it from end to from start to end on this sound card. The direct memory access or the audio transportation inside the card is 60 bits, 48 kilohertz. So despite there being a digital to analog converter that is 24 bits and 96 kilohertz, in fact it wasn't. So what it happened was that the signal came in and it was processed in 16 bits and then it had to be converted back to 24 bits and 96 kilohertz. Now data will be lost somewhere in there and so the Audigy wasn't much of an improvement. And this is the reason where there was so much confusion. The digital to analog converter used is the Wolfson WM8768, which is a 24 bit 192 kilohertz 8 channel digital to analog converter with a very decent signal to noise ratio of 103 decibels. Now I say very decent because back in those days that was decent. These days, well, it's a bit on the low side. So this wasn't immediately, well, obvious to everyone. And when it was, came to the surface, this problem, uh, they had to go into court and later Creative awarded US customers after a class action settlement, a 35% discount on all Creative products. But this was only in the United States, nowhere else. And this isn't the first or last time that Creative was a bad boy. Let's not forget the driver issues with Daniel K. And, the lineup of Audigy cards started with the Audigy LS, then the Audigy SE or Value, the ES, the VX, and then the top of the line, the Platinum EX. The Creative Labs Audigy SE and Audigy Value share exactly the same model number, which is the SP0570, and are thus the same card. The reason for a different name is the region where it was sold. The Audigy SE is a stripped down version of the normal Audigy with the less expensive CA0106 audio controller instead of the EMU 10K2. The result was that the EAX 3.0 and EAX 4.0 were both software based and hardware based. The processor just couldn't handle it. Also there is no hardware based high resolution DVD audio playback and no Dolby Digital 5.1. And there is also only one input which you can either use as a mic in or a line in. Now the Audigy SE is a small form factor or a low profile sound card, which makes it that a lot of system builders can integrate this sound card into their system. And you should not be amazed or well dumbfounded if you spot this one in new systems. It's a sound card from 2010, it's 2020 when I record this. So there are still systems out there being sold with this sound card. Now, if that's a wise decision, I'm not too sure.
Now, when I ran Rightmark Audio Analyzer for the first time, I was a bit unprepared for the results the card produced, which were, well, kind of decent. There was a bit of a wobble going on there from 2 kHz onward, and you can spot the sudden drop at 20 kHz, something I talked about in a previous video about the Asus Xona DGX. The total harmonic distortion, or THD, is 0.00446%, which is very good indeed. There are newer cards being sold that have much worse results. Now overall, Rightmark gives this card a good, but I must add that this is, these results may have been good 10 years ago. These days, you will get the same results from a good and decent onboard solution. Now, since the arrival of Windows 10 1903, sound cards have a real issue with drivers, especially older cards because they won't get any new drivers. And that's also the case with this Audigy SE. As you can see, the driver is from 2015 and it had some real issues with installing. Uh, after I did a fresh Windows install, I did manage to get it working, but with a minimal driver interface. Now, I know you can have some modded drivers out there, but I try to keep everything as plain as possible. Now, even though the results from Rightmark Audio Analyzer should, well, point it out to be a nice listening session, I didn't find it to be, well, that good in my ears. It was uh, uninspiring, underpowered, undefined, and everything with an un in it, even to such a point where I should say it's as good as underwear. It wasn't a pleasant listening session. You could definitely hear that this card is 10 years old. Maybe then this card was, well, a bit better than your onboard solution, but now it's worse than most onboard solutions. And now for the conclusion, now the fact that this is in fact a 16-bit sound card and not a 24-bit sound card, the fact that it's PCI and not PCI Express, the fact that the problems I have with installing the driver and I even have to install a fresh Windows install to get it even working, uh, coupled with the bad listening sessions that I had, the only positive thing was that Rightmark said that it had a good, well, that's the only good thing. The total harmonic distortion is, uh, well, uh, very acceptable. Um, makes it that, well, despite that, I do not recommend this sound card at all, even when you get it for free, like I did, thankfully. Um, it wasn't such a good card, and in fact, it was one of the most horrible sound cards that I have ever listened to. It's not the worst sound card. It's, well, definitely somewhere in the bottom there. Uh, of my list and um, well that's it for me for today I hope you enjoyed this video I hope to see you in the next one see you then bye bye